I've decided to build a uh, signal gantry, and this is my rough sketch, just so I kind of know what I'm doing with spacing and so on. I went out and I got uh, some Plastistruct, or I guess it's Evergreen this time, Evergreen scale models, styrene plastic in various uh, shapes, structural shapes. I'm going to start assembling this, start cutting pieces to length and assembling them properly next. So stand by. I taped um, a copy of the drawing or the sketch to this uh, thin plywood piece and then I taped down the two, the top and bottom cords and then I um, started cutting the pieces to fit. Um, there's one left to go right there where that line is and um, I'll cut that for you and you can watch how I did it. It's no big secret. Always make it a little bit longer than it needs to be so you can trim to the right length. And keep your fingers away from the blade here. I, I have cut myself multiple times on this. That's a little too long. It's going to interfere <clears throat> with the vertical piece. So we're going to trim some off. It's important to get these flanges facing the right way. Let's try that. There's a little bit of trial and error involved, but there, that fits perfectly. So we'll just tack that. And then we can take it out of the, uh, the tape, take it out of the braces. <laughs> sticks to the paper a little bit but you can get that off there I, if you have to sand it a little bit so I will uh, get the little pieces of paper off of this and uh, then I'll glue it up solid I mean it's pretty solid now but uh, I was just using a very tiny amount of glue to tack it Well, there's one truss completed. Now I'll build another one. And it's okay if uh, you cover some of the framework because you can fill in the middle, then take the tape off and fill in the outside. Okay, well, I'll get to work on this and I'll be back in a little bit. I have it laying on its back right now. I'm waiting for these legs to set up and then I'll put the other ones on. I've, I want to make sure that they're uh, square to the bridge and straight up and down. Phase one, I thought we'd take a look and see how things are going. I have the frame of uh, two of the cages done and I'm working on the third to refresh you. There are three cages. I don't know what the proper name for them is, but one has two signals, the other two have one. There is an extended piece wherever a, there's a signal. And uh, I'm getting ready to cut the one that goes on this one. I like the length of the shorter ones better. I got the one on the back a little bit long. 
I'm going to have to trim it in place, which is always tricky. So it goes in the chopper. I just put the tape on the chopper so that I can draw. I have uh, three of the four signals built and ready to go in, but this has to be painted first. So I'm continuing to work on it and I will paint it when the weather warms up a little bit <laughs> or I want to get busy with the, with the old hair dryer. I'm waiting for the primer to dry. I'll put a finished coat on it later this afternoon downstairs in the paint with my paint booth. Um, I use Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya. I'll paint it a very, very light gray or try to. Gray is tricky, you know, it always turns blue on you if you're not careful. Mix black and white together and before you know it, you've got a little, you've got a sky blue or a light blue. Or you can see a little blue in it anyway. It's looking good. I finished up the uh, the signals and uh, here they are. I put a final coat of paint on them. The, uh, the backs, I couldn't paint uh, in the, with the spray because uh, the LEDs were in there. So uh, that precluded spraying them. But uh, I painted them with a brush and uh, painted them with acrylic. Hopefully that'll work. When the paint sets up, probably next week or even maybe over the weekend if I have time, uh, I'll start assembling uh, the LEDs or the uh, signals into the um, signal cages. And when that's done, I can then put the, um, the woven wire safety cages in there or whatever they're made of. Anyway, I'm going to use a fabric that has a fine mesh. Uh, you'll be able to see through it easily, but it will simulate those, um, it'll simulate the screens and hopefully look fine. Thought we'd take a quick look at uh, where I am. Putting the uh, safety screening in. This one's pretty well done. I've added a ladder, probably can't see that, there's a ladder here, a ladder here, it's hard to see, there, and there will be a ladder over here on this one too, I haven't painted those yet, I have the ladders. The other end is going to get one of these uh, scale model sceneries safety ladders. They come in a two pack. And I'll be building that. Well, here's where I am at the moment. Um, I have the gantry installed, I have the cable trunking run to it. I have the panel mounted, I have some of the wires pulled, I have the wires pulled to the signal lamps, um, and I have power over here, but uh, that's as far as I am. I don't have the control circuits, uh, which are going to go here and here. Okay, I have two cameras set up. Uh, one on each side because there's two signals on one side and two signals on the other and I have this wired with jumpers so that I can uh, just uh, Touch the terminal and test to see this is the big test. Let's see if all this work uh, turned out, okay um, I'm going to start with the down freight which is this one going this way and uh, we'll see if the red lights up. Yep. Let's see if the yellow lights up. Yep. How about the green? Ha 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 ha. 
Yeah. Okay, now we're going to the up main. The up main is this one. So it's going to be on the other camera. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It's this one. That's the up main. Going back to London. Red. Yellow. Green. Ah! I'm batting um, 500. Okay, now we're going to the up freight. So the up freight is this one. Okay, the red, the yellow, and the green. They all three, well, we're at 75%. I can't believe this. As much trouble as I had with these little fine wires, I used magnet wires to run up inside. The, and um, I had a single conduit, as I mentioned before, and uh, by the time I stuffed the resistors through there and everything else, I ended up ripping some wires. Okay, now we're talking the down main. So down main would be this one. This, this track, it's uh, the signals on the other side. So let's see what we got. Uh, red works. Yellow works. I suppose the green's not going to work. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> they all worked. Wow, that's amazing. Well, I can't run them in automatic uh, right now because um, I don't have the, the little controllers for them. But uh, they're, they're ordered, and they'll be here after a while. But what I can do is I will jury rig all of these to green. And uh, we'll, we'll have a look at it from the camera truck. I think that'll be pretty interesting. I think it'll be a great addition to the railway. Before I'm done here, I'm going to um, hook up all these signals to green. And uh, I'll get my camera truck out here and I'll run it through both ways just so you can see what it looks like from the track. Bye for now.
next video, we'll get into the automation of these signals. Right now, they're essentially static. They're just on. But uh, I, will, I will produce the next video about uh, connecting up the automatic function. So we can look forward to that. Should be good. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.